Ministry of Industry and Trade considers reducing 612 business conditions. Da Nang encourages retail businesses. Da Nang in lack of laborers for industrial zones. The RT News is happy to have you watching today. On September the 16th in Manila, Philippines, ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly holds the opening ceremony of its 38th General Assembly with the theme AIPA and ASEAN, Partnering for Inclusive Change. AIPA 38 is taking place from September the 16th to 19th with the participation of 10 ASEAN member countries and 11 observing countries. Speaking at the assembly, Standing Vice Chairwoman of the National Assembly Tom Thị Phong stated that AIPA 38 General Assembly takes place in the context of complicated and unstable conditions in various places in the region and worldwide. Under such circumstances, AIPA together with ASEAN need to uphold the spirit of solidarity and unity, raising the responsibility to exert joint effort in effectively tackling threats to regional peace, security and order, at the same time making effective and inclusive contribution to the progress of building the ASEAN community. Vice Chairwoman remarked in the new development stage of both ASEAN and AIPA, the cooperation between ASEAN and AIPA should be more adhesively, practically and effectively oriented. The Ministry of Industry and Trade has revealed 1,216 business conditions in 27 sectors and proposed reducing 464 business conditions, equivalent to 38% of the total number. Particularly, the food business sector will cut 180 out of 350 conditions. Notably, the Ministry's second option is the proposal to cut 612 business conditions, equivalent to a reduction of 50.3% in total business conditions for 17 sectors. In particular, in the food business sector, the number of proposed reductions is 331 out of 350 business conditions. Thus, after the reduction, the total number of remaining conditions for the trade and industry sector is 752 under the first option and 604 under the second option. According to the development orientation towards 2020, Da Nang has encouraged the development of diversified types of business and commercial infrastructure in the harmonious combination of traditional business with modern business and e-commerce. Savos Vietnam listed market research claimed that Da Nang's total retail supply increased by more than 17% in 2016 and in the first half of this year. The market was expected to have no more new projects coming into cooperation in this second half year. According to the Department of Industry and Trade, the development of commercial infrastructure in Da Nang has not kept up with the demands. Da Nang has not been successful to mobilize abundant resources to invest in the construction of commercial infrastructure by means of socialization. Thus, the department will advise the Municipal People's Committee to review traditional markets in accordance with the master plans to ensure the policy of eliminating spontaneous markets and developing cultural lifestyle and civilized commerce. According to the statistics of the Da Nang Labor Union, Currently, nearly 74,000 laborers are working in the six industrial zones of Da Nang City. However, at present, these industrial zones still lack nearly 5,000 workers. The situation has continued lasting for many years. In particular, there are the labor shortages mainly in the manufacturing sectors such as garment and textiles, leather shoes, electronic assembly, mechanical and welding. The need to expand production scale and promote business development leads to the increasing labor demand of the industrial zones and the serious labor shortage here have been prolonged for many years. Therefore, the city government and businesses themselves have built many policies to retain workers. Recently, the International Standards Kindergarten for the Workers' Children at the Hoa Kang Industrial Zone has been inaugurated, showing one among the great efforts of the city government. 
According to the plan on building new style rural areas in the process of urbanization in Hoang district for the 2017-2020 period, the city will pay focus on developing infrastructure for trade and service sectors in Hoang district. Particularly, the special attention will be paid to a tourism sector with the eco-tourism development of Dong Sang and Dong Nghệ Lakes, the construction item for upgrading the revolutionary base of the district party committee, along with the development of ecological tourism in Thái Lai village and Tuy Luan riverside areas. Two to three souvenir shops will be established. The traditional markets will also be upgraded towards commercial civilization. The city is striving to reach the target of building all the Hoa Vang district markets into those meeting the standards of civilized and food safety markets. Implementing the objective of food safety in the Four Safe City program of the City Party Committee, since the beginning of this year, the city and the agricultural sector have made up many realistic and effective plans and solutions one of which is strengthening the connection with the adjacent provinces and businesses to supply clean and safe agricultural products to the market. According to the Safe Food Supply Chain list of the Municipal Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, by June the 30th this year, there has been five clean product suppliers in the city, four of which had the connection with cooperatives of other provinces. Also, the city has built the monitoring chain to control the clean every products of these suppliers. Particularly with Da Nang's distinctive tourism brand, food safety is always a top priority concern of the local government and residents. In order to minimize the marine environmental pollution, especially in the rainy season, in addition to the pilot project on upgrading the Mi'an discharge outlet, with the total cost of about 4.4 billion dollars, Da Nang will purchase 11 new pumps to replace the old ones at the pump stations of SBS 1, SBS 2, SBS 3, SBS 4, SBS 34, located along the coastal areas to ensure the capacity of pumping wastewater into the treatment station, limiting the wastewater flows discharged into the sea. The city government also filled ditches and built temporary dam of sand at the nine outlets along the Chung Sa Hong Sa streets to prevent the wastewater flows from discharging into the sea. The inspector ditches have also been established, which will carry out regular inspections of the works under the construction along the coastal areas. In order to ensure preliminary health care for citizens as well as to implement health care programs in line with national targets, in the past years, Da Nang has invested huge resources in 56 commute health stations in the city. Every year, these health stations provide diagnosis and treatment services for thousands of people. However, to further enhance the role of preliminary health facilities, Da Nang suggested the Ministry of Health to support the city to renovate and upgrade some degraded health care stations, as well as purchase additional medical equipment with the expected cost of $168 billion. For seven health stations in Sun Chia district, the city will first invest in concrete drops for storm prevention. That's all for today's news. Remember to check out drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.